Hello everyone, Mighty Benaya back with the March Chatters map. Um, things have gotten a little bit spicy and I'm going to go over what has happened. Um, we have three, three major conflict zones. Um, yeah, yeah, two and a half to three major conflict zones. But um, before I share anything else, I have one two three subs coming up and this is two battleships he has been chasing me um i think i showed last time uh last video he has been chasing me with two battleships i tried to make a landing with uh 48 troops um i made it out with uh 31 plus 8 40 39 troops um so he was able to um hit me a little bit um, but I made it out and he's been chasing me with his battleship. I'm pulling all of my forces back and hoping that he's foolish enough to separate his infantry to land, um, after which I can move my submarines in and take out his battleship. Um, if he lands, um, I have more than enough troops to deal with him eventually. Um, even if he has a full landing and he takes, takes territories, I don't care. It's a temporary setback. As long as he doesn't take the oil province, which is the only province I really care about down here, um, I'm happy. Uh, I was able to earlier, um, I'm not sure if I showed you this or not, um, I made a landing. So I sat my artillery here at the channel crossing and crossed the channel and took London and Portsmouth. Um, he had moved these big stacks all the way up here. Um, and so he's still got, you know, some troops up there. They've been landing consistently. I saw about 100 troops landing today in the uh, north of England. But he had those two big stacks, 300, uh, 400 troops uh, between the 40s, right? Um, and he brought them all back down south. So I think he was planning on coming over here and attacking Norway. But when I started invading the south of Great Britain, they had to, they had to pivot, they had to change their plans. And uh, I made fun of them a little bit. I, I thought it was hysterical with um, my buddies. I said, oh, sir, they've, they've got, please, please excuse my, my terrible uh, accent. Sir, they've landed 45 troops and they're taking over London. Oh, well. We need to send a full battalion of 400 troops to counteract their offensive. We must keep the Holy Land. Uh, I thought it was hysterical that they sent all of their troops to deal with a mere 45. Uh, it was 40 infantry and 5 cavalry. And I escaped not quite with that many troops left. Um, but it really got them out of the position that they wanted to be in. I probably should have just sacrificed these troops, um, charged them in. Um, but I wanted to keep as many as I could. And these guys are headed back uh, into my land for some well-deserved R&R after that, uh, that insane mission. Um, I am continuing to build, but I do have, look at this sneaky maneuver. So, um, I had the, these guys come back. They're being chased by two battleships. Um, and now that I messed with these guys over here, I have sent an additional 95 troops. So this is 77 infantry and 18 cavalry, and they're just casually going to come over here and land but before they do i've got a balloon up here to try to distract them so i know they can see my balloon because my balloon can see um the number of troops so a good metric the balloon's full radius is the fog of war radius for everybody else and then their fog of war radius is one additional layer um, so they can see that I have a troop moving in the water, even if they don't have any balloons in here. And they likely have um, a balloon in this province. Um, so they, as far as I can tell, they can't tell what kind of unit I have, but they know I have something up here. Um, I do know that they have a submarine um, right about here. Um, and it'll take a little bit of time for that submarine to 
um, move its way north um, and it will probably look to attack the balloon especially if I um, keep it out of line of sight which I won't um, or make it look like I'm going to make a landing with it um, but that balloon is there to help me make sure that um, I have a landing zone for um, my my 95 Yes, my 95 troops. Uh, additionally, over here, I have not got a sub going. That is not okay. What can I cancel to get a sub going? Uh, let's cancel this and this. Come on. Sometimes you gotta do things like this. Okay, I need some more Arn. Don't wanna cancel that. Oh, I bet you. No, okay. You know what? It's worth it to buy 300 iron here. Normally, it's not great to buy uh, buy materials, but I am okay with buying, let's say 500. It's not that costly. Um, am I short silver now? Yes, short silver. So what am I going to pay? Sorry, I normally don't do this on camera. Uh, wheat is not that expensive, but I can sell fish and iron. I don't want to do... Uh, this is not great, not great at all. What am I missing? What am I short on? Navy. I need 2,000 more. 2,000. Ah! Oh! That'll get me there. There we go. So I've started another sub in Alta. Um, sometimes you gotta play with it and figure it out. So that's what's happened up north. At this point, I am holding off Greenland and Canada. Uh, so I am holding off two of the, um, of the four that we're fighting. The United States, and this is a big deal, the United States decided that they didn't want to be in this fight. They decided to pull out. Um, and if you ask his allies, he probably pulled, pulled out too soon. But it has allowed Austria-Hungary to dominate. There, he just got rid of the big stack here, um, and he lost 53 infantry and seven cavalry, which is nothing in comparison to what he's got here. Um, but he's taken out the big stacks and Spain, uh, the Iberian Peninsula is essentially ours. Um, Spain does have provinces in Morocco. He's got another capital down here and Austria-Hungary is left with a choice. Okay, do I um, move down? Do I pursue him into Morocco? Do I um, move forces back up to deal with these two nations? Well, in addition to all of that, there has been some tension and just absolute lack of communication with Libya. Um, we are not hearing anything from Libya, and he is crossing a significant number of troops over. Um, look at that. Um, nine. That is a significant number of troops. There's a heavy tank in there. So he's crossing them over, and he's about to attack Romania. We don't know this, but... He's gone dark. Um, he's not communicating with us. He is going to, he's going to turn on us pretty soon. So what I told Austria-Hungary is um, we don't want to attack Libya. We still want Libya to decide that this is a bad course of action. But um, in the meantime, we can always prep for Libya. I can handle these guys up here. Um, it's going to be a rough go, but I have enough troops that I can hold them back um, in France and I can hold them back in Norway. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be that big of an issue. 
So I told him, go ahead and push Morocco because pushing Morocco will do a couple of things. It will get rid of an enemy, right? It'll get rid of Spain, um, which I feel a little bit bad about eliminating Spain, but Spain was uh, dedicated to um, to the the uh, the West, dedicated to the Americas, and he was willing to give to them what he wasn't willing to give to us. And because they were attacking us, um, we couldn't take the risk that they would land big forces like these forces up here um, on his shores and march through. The game would have been over. Um, so we had to attack him to eliminate the landing zone. Um, so I feel a little bit bad, but at the same time, like there wasn't much that we could do. We were backed into a corner. If we take out Spain, um, if we go into Morocco, take out Spain, um, maybe leave him. Like, I don't care if we leave him Tantan. He can stay in the game. Um, but that puts us next door to... Libya. So if Libya um, pushes hard, like he looks like he's going to do, pushes hard north through um, Italy and attacks Romania, um, pushes hard east and attacks Romania, he's going to leave his uh, western flank open. Like, look, there's only there's only nine guys here at this at this province here. And we're unsure, but there may not be anybody here. So, and pushing through um, Morocco isn't going to be tough. So it is going to, pushing through now into Morocco is going to maybe give Libya pause. Um, give him reason not to attack us. And that's kind of what we want. We want to deal with um, Canada and Greenland um, and not deal with Libya. But if Libya is going to put himself in a situation where we're going to be at odds, then we need to put ourselves in a situation where we're going to win that conflict. Um, he needs to put himself in a 3v1, um, or at the very least, a 2v1. Um, and uh, I think that I can handle Greenland and Canada. It'll be rough. Um, we'll have some, some significant losses, but I think that I can take them out. But we'll see what happens. I'm excited to continue this game. Let me know if you have any uh, comments. I really appreciate all of the comments. It really helps um, get the video out there so more people can enjoy games like this. Soli Deo Gloria, and I'll see you next time.